ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Let's get her ready to go. It's Ben Murphy for Box Nation here. I'm here with Jesse, Malik Scott's trainer. Jesse, how's uh, preparations gone for your man ahead of this fight? Actually, we were in real good shape. We came here to be in the best shape of our life because we know this is a good fight and we're going to be ready for it. Whatever, whatever the size of the ring or whatever, it doesn't matter. We're ready to fight. So what do you know about Derek, Derek Chisora? Have you seen uh, his contest against some of the big, big names in the heavyweight division? Obviously, he's not always come out on top on those, but he's obviously always been in there, competed against the best, and gave Vitaly Klitschko probably his hardest fight since Lennox Lewis. Well, I think he's uh, he belongs where he is. He's a good fighter. He's very aggressive. Uh, he's uh, he's a one-dimension fighter. He comes right at you and fights. He's a little bit of a looper. Uh, we're kind of like that. We're, we're, we're ready for him. So do you think Malik's likely to employ his general style of, of stepping off, moving, and using his footwork, which is unconventional for a guy his size, uh, or do you think he's going to try something different for this fight? I think Malik can do, he's a, he's a lot of dimensions that he can fight, as he proved in his last fight with the Russian. He, he dominated him, he didn't have to do a lot of running, it was in a small ring, and he just, he owned him. In the last three rounds, the, the Russian looked like slow motion, so, you know, it's similar to this fight. It's kind of a, the difference is, is that Derek throws a lot of looping shots and the other guy was more of a straight fundamental fighter, you know, so we're, we're prepared for anything we got to see. I mean, are there any concerns your end? Obviously, we've seen Derek Chisora outside. I mean, we all heard him at the press conference yesterday talking about these newfound uh, abdominal muscles that have come up on him. Do you think uh, we're going to see a different Derek Chisora this time round, more hungry, more in shape, and he's really going to put it on Malik? I definitely think he's going to come with the best he's got. I don't know how much more that would be, but whatever it is, we're prepared to combat it and take care of it. So we have a we have an extremely great fighter, so we're, we're happy about this fight. So if Malik comes through this one, what, what, what do you think the next step is for him? I mean, is he going to be sort of starting to mix it at world level? Is that why this fight's so integral for him to win? Definitely. Uh, each one of these fights is a step up, so it's something that can put Malik in the firing line for a world title. We're looking to fight anybody. We're not afraid to fight anybody. So most people are afraid to fight us, but uh, we're happy about this fight. So um, obviously you said a lot of people were afraid to fight you. I mean, do you, do you think Derek represents that step up in class? Obviously he's mixed it at the, the highest level. Do you think this is Malik's toughest test to date? I would say it's uh, one of the ruggedest fighters he's to face. Uh, I think the last fight he had was supposed to be a guy that nobody wanted to fight either. And we took the challenge and we beat him like, I thought we beat him almost It was a very, round. very contentious decision, yeah, obviously. Yeah, it was very and terrible. And, uh, you know, it, that's bad for boxing, you know, anytime you see that. But uh, Letterman, who was on HBO, I sent him a letter thanking him because his daughter called it a draw. And he said the only judge that had the fight right was a New York judge that had Malik win in almost every round. And I wrote him a letter thanking him for being honest, and I'm sure he scolded his daughter. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for your time, Jesse. We look forward to a great fight on Saturday. Yeah, it should be a great one. So I'm, I'm excited about it, too. This is Ben Murphy for Box Nation. Thank you very much.